In this episode, I'm going to show you exactly what I did to kill off the road noise in our van. Even with the manufacturer's sound deadening on, all of that is road noise. I'd like to illustrate just how much noise can be generated from these panels that don't have any sound deadening on them. You can just imagine rolling down the road, the vibrations going through those panels is creating all of that drumming noise. Today I'm going to be installing some sound deadening in the van. Um, after having done the installation earlier in the conversion, I neglected to think about road noise too much. The installation has been perfect, but today I'm going to be adding some sound deadening, the, the butyl type. It's in a roll. I'll show you in a moment what I'm going to be using. Now this is the sound deadening mat that I'm using, Peace Mat from Car Insulation. I've used a couple of their products in the van conversion already. It's adhesive on the one side, textured foil on the other, and of course it has a 2 mil thick bitumen layer in there, which actually does the vibration damping. I've got my camper van dog over there. And this cuts very simply, just with a basic pair of scissors really. I'm going to remove the panel and put the sound editing inside. Well, as you can see, the door has got a little bit of sound deadening in it already, which has gone very hard, very stiff. Well, anything that rattles is going to contribute to road noise, so I need to sort that out. It's had better days. Finding random pieces of plastic lying inside your door is also going to contribute to road noise. As you can see, there's not a lot of sound deadening in here. There's a whole panel in there that hasn't been covered. So I'm going to cover that and just add a little bit more. And this is the position of the window when it's fully wound down. As you can see, there's quite a bit of space underneath there for some insulation. As you can see, I've applied the new piece of sound ending to the inside of the door there, alongside the original factory piece, which I'm going to double layer. And then you just use one of these rollers. I've added some sand deadening to the panel that didn't have anything on it. the passenger door done. Two layers up the top there covering the original small piece. Two layers down here covering the original small piece from the factory. Already it's a lot more solid. For good measure I've added some adhesive foil bubble wrap um, over the top of the sound deadening just to give it a little bit more 
sound quietening properties. And it's done. This is a little bit subjective, but there is a noticeable difference between the two doors now. The passenger door. Which is nice and solid. And the driver's door. Which certainly isn't. Got to remove that panel to get access to the inside, remove the insulation and apply the sound deadening. That's the insulated sliding door, so I'm going to remove that insulation now. Need to remove this fluff. The sound deadening has been applied to the inside of the door. The difference is quite astonishing. It is much more rigid and that booming sound is gone so the road noise should be significantly lower. That's the insulation back in and I will seal that off and reapply the panel. And that's it, the panel's back on, and the difference is quite amazing. Just like a golf. With the front doors now done, and the sliding door done, I'm going to tackle the two barn doors at the back. And these are great big barn doors. So, uh, you can imagine, there's a lot of noise coming through there. So we're going to soundproof those two now. Light sound deadening to the inside panels of the doors. I'm trying to get right up as deep as I can into these cavities. It's now time to do that wall. So I'm going to take off the panel, pull out the insulation, clean up the inside of the panel with some panel wipes and then uh, install the dead sound deadening. Travelling with road noise over long distances can be absolutely exhausting. So after having done these upgrades to the van, we can now listen to music, have proper conversations and arrive at our destination far more refreshed than we did before. This is a highly recommended upgrade to your van. Don't just insulate it, sound deaden it also.